Here, sit. Sit. Kimberly Kelsey comes to the City Paws Dog Park in West Palm Beach every day with her two dogs. This is Amber. She's an old English sheepdog doodle. He's That's Charlie, and he's a Newfoundland doodle. Yes, I love my puppies very much. I, I would leave my house before I'm going to get rid of my dogs. It's a quiet, shaded park. Hiding under the table. A nice break from the financial stress that's burdening pet owners right now. Giant breed of dog. They eat two cans a day, so that's like $6 just on wet food. And if you do dry food, that's $40, $50. Prices are up. Yes, they are. Due to inflation, for one. It's getting more harder because we have, we have a shortage, too, of pet food. Created by COVID-19 supply chain issues that are still affecting the market. They need a lot of exercise, so. According to PawTracks.com. He's allergic to chicken, so a lot of the foods have chicken in it. So to make it even harder, the foods are getting more harder to find. Because of his allergy, it makes it even 10 times more stressful. How am I going to afford it next week or the week after? Financial planners I spoke with tell me they know this is stressful, but they say there are some simple ways that you can save money right now while also giving your pets the resources and the food that they need. So some of the pet items are definitely uh, increasing. What would you say to those people who are really feeling like, oh, I can't afford this, but my dog, my cat needs it? You can Google um, a, a shelter or a diversion program in your area for animals. And those diversion programs help with a few things. So one, they can help with food. They can help with kibble. They can also help with vet care. Certified financial planner Rochelle Smith also suggests making adjustments in your life, like cutting out things you don't need. So whether it be in the grocery store, whether it be on those discretionary items like clothes, um, dining out, maybe vacations or whatever the little extra things that you would normally do that we call discretionary. They need a lot of exercise. Which is exactly what Kelsey Charlie, come here. has been doing. Like I can't go out to dinner as much. Had to do other compromises to just make sure that they eat because you can't leave them starving. In West Palm Beach, Jessica Bruno, WPTV. I guess they're ready to go. News Channel 5.